Now for the vector brushes. What are vectors, do you say? <laughs> well, vectors aren't pixels. <laughs> pixels are those little square dots that make up graphics on a computer screen, whereas vectors are mathematically produced. They're like telling the computer draw from point A to point B to point C, and each of those points is a vector. And um, as you scale in, as you like zoom, or let's say zoom up, um, it continues to redraw itself so that it stays a very, very crisp edge. And that works great for things that need to be scaled. For example, logos. Logos have to be really small for a business card and then sometimes on a large sign and then who knows, maybe on a billboard. And they need to retain their quality. And pixel drawings don't do that. They start to pixelate. If you've ever seen those sort of like jagged edges that start to occur on, um, on your like JPEGs or images from the web, that's called pixelation. And that happens with pixel drawings. So I'm going to show you an example of what I mean. On the left-hand side is a drawing made with a pixel brush, a very quick drawing. <laughs> and then on the right-hand side is a vector drawing created with a vector brush. And we're going to take a look at how well these scale. Okay, so let's start with the pixel drawing first. I'm going to scale way up. And it seems like at least that should stay really nice and crisp, right? Uh-oh. Look at that. It's starting to get those jagged edges. And I'm starting to see those little tiny squares called pixels. Those are pixels. <laughs> it is pixelating. Darn. Well, gee, this drawing would work great for the size it is and maybe a little larger, but I'm not going to be able to put it on a billboard <laughs> and resize it into all kinds of sizes. Nope. Um, but I do love that I can create nice smooth gradations of color and stuff with pixel brushes. So a lot of times I'm going to use those. And then here we have the vector drawing. It's very um, more simplified and sort of comic book like. And that might be the style that I want even. Let's take a look at how it holds up. Go closer Closer. Let's go to that black line. Closer. Look at this. I'm going so close, like I'm at 5,799% size, and the line is still perfectly crisp. And I could just go forever <laughs> when I'm not going to, but. You get my point. And not only that, anything that was created with the pixel brush, even these colors that I had, the flesh color, is staying crisp. Let's see here. Let's look in. As I move, it blurs temporarily, but there we go. And then look at the, this is inside the eye. All those lines are perfectly crisp. Um, this one, the one on the right, which was created with the vector brushes, is going to be great for rescaling. And maybe I even kind of like this sort of hard edge graphic look because I'm doing a comic book or I'm doing a logo. Um, there's lots of reasons why you would choose to do this. And, um, and if you work in Adobe Illustrator or one of those drawing programs like that that uses vectors, this is great. Now you can actually brush paint your vector designs with brushes. All right, so let's go ahead and create a little vector drawing and check out how it works. I think I'll start with the G pen. And I had started earlier. I favorited it. 
and put it in my favorites folder there because I like that one. All right, so I gotta get a color. And now watch what happens over here as I draw my first line. There's all of a sudden a circle that appears on that layer and it's sort of a solid circle within a circle. And that's just to indicate to me that this is a vector layer. Vectors have their own layers because you can't mix pixels and vectors together. However, later, if you really like your drawing, you can actually click on here and convert it to a pixel drawing. Um, but once you do that, um, unless you do undo <laughs> right away, you can't um, redo it back into vectors. So just so you know that. Okay, back to my vector brush. I'm in the G pen. I can size it to what I like. I can also change the smoothing. I'm going to have it kind of smooth. Okay, so let's draw. Having smoothing set high like that really allows me to create um, very smooth circles. And then, let's see, I'm going to use a different pen for the eyebrow. Let's see, there's a vector pen in here, the end taper. Um, when I press down hard, I'm going to get thicker lines, and when I let up, I get thinner lines. Since this is an enclosed shape in here, I could just drop in some color. Let's do that. So I'll go to the paint bucket, and then I'll just click in the middle, and it fills it right away. Awesome! <laughs> okay, so I'm going to create another vector layer. And now I'm going to go ahead and colorize sort of a light blue first, pull it up to 100%. That's the other thing. You can, with these, make them like all the brushes. You can use 100% color or create a transparent color. I'll do that. Um, Oh, and here I need to erase that. You can erase these vectors. <laughs> okay, so there's a little bit of skin tone. And I'm going to go ahead and use a darker skin tone, but this time I'm going to change the transparency to about 52% and work in layers. See how I'm, I can put down layers of color and as I build it, it gets darker and darker. So just so you know, you can't smudge and blend with vectors like you can with pixel brushes. This is a very graphic look, very hard edged. It reminds me a lot of working with these um, marker pens. Um, if you've ever used marker pens or different kinds of markers, brush markers, they kind of layer like this. Um, I'm gonna go up here and add a white dot. And there we go, there's like a little highlight. So there we go. And then the other thing is, let's see, let's try an eraser. You can also erase vectors. Imagine that. <laughs> you can paint with them and you can erase them. So I'm going to erase. I'm going to hold down the shortcut button so that, let's see, I'll hold down the shortcut button. Oh, and I should be able to erase. Oh, here we go. i got to be on the right layer. So there you go. Now let's just try out a couple fun little brushes, other brushes that it has. Um, like for example, here is the jitter brush. There's a number of different jitters. Let's try a jitter out. OK, 
create sort of a lumpy line. <laughs> and then let's say I want to create very straight lines. There's a little technique that you can use to do that. Maybe I want to put a triangle around it, the eye. Ooh, yeah. So I'll get into that. Let's see, I'll do a, maybe I'll do red. Get up. Okay. So I have my brush set in the settings so that if I press, draw, and hold, and then I hold for a little while, look at that. It snapped it. It snaps it. It's in the settings somewhere in the app settings. I believe it's an input. There it is, snap line. If I um, select this and have snap line on, so if I draw a line, and I'm trying to draw it straight, but if I hold it for a little while, it'll kind of adjust it so it is straight. So I'll draw, and then I'll hold, and there it made it straight. So that's another little cool trick that you can do. Ooh. <laughs> the, <laughs> the big eye is watching you. So just try out those vector brushes see what you come up with, um, and enjoy.